sorry, we're having a little camera issues today with my stand. So, so what we're gonna do um, is we are gonna take our shoe, we're gonna open up the sh Sharpies and pick which colors you like. We're gonna make some designs and then we're gonna take alcohol, drop it on, and we're gonna kinda smooth it in with the Q-tip. So, let's open the Sharpie. All right, so you just start making your design on the shoe. Um, you just want to do the whole shoe, and then we will get into the, uh... Okay, baby, hold on. So see how I'm just making the circles? You could do any kind of design you want. You just want to fill the whole shoe up first, so it's going to take a little bit. And then, um, we can start with the process of tie-dyeing it. So I'm starting off with this purple pen. I'm making little, um, things, and I might make the polka dots into flowers. And I was trying to do it with us, but I don't want to give my three-year-old a permanent marker, so he's just going to hold the marker until I'm ready for the next color. So as you see, you continue. You can do any kind of pattern you want. So these are pens. Um, I don't know if the pens, unless you're going to make like writing like, or a fine stencil. You can make swirlies. So I'm kind of making a swirly figure. And I'm gonna use this um, hot little pink So we're just coloring the designs. This is mine. It's so pretty. I just so what I do, I put this put some polka dots, make a rainbow, and I'm just doing some parts on the side right now. I'm almost finished the front of my shoe. I still have to do the sides and the back, but I'm gonna show you um, how to blend it. I don't know how to do it, so she's gonna tell me too, just like you guys. There's a lot of fun colors, I love it. And also, this globe makes very really fun, so I'm gonna use it. Maybe do like a little blue sky or something. So here's how the top of my shoe looks. So now what I'm gonna do is take the alcohol. Fine. I'm doing this as I take my parts and color them in. And get one of the medicine. Better. They say if you have a dropper, I won't have one, so I'm just going to use the Tylenol one. So I'll put some alcohol in that. Hi, baby. And then you're just going to drip it. Like this on your shoe. You can take the Q tip to help it bleed. Take the Q tip, and you can help that on it. You just push it back and forth. And it will start to bleed out so that you can do it. So here's the beginning, um, the beginning of finishing my top of the shoe. So you just take the alcohol, squeeze it on, and then get a Q-tip and just brush back and forth. So now I'm going to work on doing the sides and the back, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. And um, you're just going to let it dry because obviously the whole shoe is going to be wet from the alcohol. But um, coming along pretty good. So Lex is still designing her shoe and then we're gonna show her how to do the Q-tip portion. So again, just continue your designs all around the back and you're making a cool tie-dye sneaker. Okay, so I did the sides and the back and then Alexa wants to show you hers. So this, this is the front, I did polka dots and then here's the this side and this side. And here's that, and then I, and then I, and then I color yellow. And then you just kind of drip it on slowly. Let's see. And you drip it on, the color starts to bleed out. And then you're gonna use a Q-tip with it. So just saturate it so that your colors can come out. So I'm just taking a Q-tip and kind of rub it, sorry, rub it on the alcohol, and it's gonna bleed the colors. Here is the finished product. Pretty neat. Hey guys, this is my shoe that came out. Hope you like it. I did a little, little, um, what you call it? A butterfly on the back. And I did like the polka dots and the rainbow right here. Some hearts and uh, more hearts. And I 
a little rainbow and a heart. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked our DIY tie-dye tie shoes today. Very inexpensive. The shoes were five eighty seven, and markers were four ninety eight, and then alcohol was a dollar. So we hope you liked our project. You can do any kind of design you want. It's really easy. Alexis has her own personalized shoe now with her name on it. Sure. I put love on mine. So we're just gonna let these dry uh, for 24 to 48 hours and they're good to go. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.